In this video, we will go over the Payoneer sign-up process and how to get your account verified. And then more questions about using Payoneer with Amazon KDP. Let's go. First, we will go over the sign-up process quickly. Then we'll speak of account verification process and how to avoid delays in getting approval. Then we'll see how the account dashboard looks like and what you will need to focus on for your KDP account. Finally, we will go over some of the FAQs that I received as comments from my previous videos. This is the crux of this video. So please watch till the end and uh, you may get a lot of your questions answered. All right, here's how to sign up for your Payoneer account. Please use the affiliate link given in the description below. So we can both get a bonus of $25 if you use this link after you reach $1,000 in transactions in your Payoneer account. So once you're on the home page, click on register and you'll find a few options here. You can choose whatever you want, but for this demo, I'm going to choose I'm an individual. And then you can choose this one because for Amazon KDP, which is like a international marketplace from where we want to receive our KDP royalties, this is the option that we want to choose. So I'll say get paid by international clients or marketplaces. Click on this one. And they tell us that this will be the best account for us. So you can start by clicking on this register button. So this is the sign up page. And in here, first I'll choose I'm an individual. If you are a new time author, you can just simply choose individual here and we do not have any company or business. So just see individual and start filling up these details. Make sure that all the details that you give here, like email address, username, everything are uh, without any spelling errors, especially with your um, name and date of birth, it must match exactly as given on your photo ID or the government I issued ID. Because when we upload these supporting documents, they are going to verify the names that we give here that is, that is going to match exactly there. So in, uh, you can also skip ahead to watch the FAQ section where I also speak about if what if you have a last name, just one character and or if you don't have any last name, just the first name. So what do you do here? Because this last name field is mandatory and we need to enter something here. So how do you do that? So all this will be answered in the FAQ section. You can skip right ahead if you are not new to Payoneer. Uh, but watch, continue watching if you are just starting with Payoneer for your Amazon KDP account. I'm going to fill in a sample detail here that shows exactly as in my government issued ID, my email address. Uh, make sure you input the correct email ID, which will also be used as your username. If I'm not wrong, when you sign in after creating the account and also for your future Payoneer related communications. So this email must be intact. That's something you use and check often. After entering the details, click on next. And this is where you enter the contact details. Just go ahead and put your address, phone number, and then you will get a verification code as an OTP. So input that to verify your phone number as well. Once that verification is done with your OTP, you can come to the next page where we are, where they ask about the security details, create your password and security questions, and then input your ID details. This ID detail is what is going to be used for verifying your account. So make sure you upload and add the details as given exactly on your government issued ID. Let me quickly go over this step now. Once done, I'm going to click on next. And this is the last step of the signing up process, uh, which is also very important. And here we upload, uh, sorry, we update our bank account details. So it's personal account, which currency am I operating in and the bank details like my account number, bank name, IFSC code, again, the PAN number, and then the account type savings or current. Once done, you can click on these options, check these, read these, and then submit for approvals. Now I already have a Payoneer account, so obviously I'm not going to fill these up and then submit another application, but uh, please know that it may take three business days to review the uh, uh, application for approval. So that's about the sign up process. Next, let's go over the account verification process so that we can see some factors which can help you in avoiding delays in getting your account approved. So here are some of the things, maybe you can use this like a checklist to make sure that your account is approved quicker and there are no further delays from our side while creating the account. Number one, make sure you upload color copies of your original document proofs that you're submitting. So if you're uploading your PAN card, uh, make sure the details are clear and having clear letters and all the corners are visible. So it's not cropped or edited. And uh, make sure the dates, if any, on your cards or, if, or in your proofs, uh, it's not having any expired dates or any old dates. Make sure these are all valid and having um, current dates or future dates. And if you click using phone, make sure that the flash is not visible on your card. 
sometimes if it's laminated and it has a, a reflective uh, image on your picture make sure the flash is not visible because that could sometimes hide the name or any other details on your card and that could cause a delay because the detail is not visible for them to verify so make sure the flash is not visible and the and these are the acceptable formats to be in high resolution uh, you can upload uh, your proofs in jpeg format or png format or gif tiff format and then pdf formats these are all accepted formats and to make sure the maximum file size is less than 3 megabytes so these are all the must know factors to get your account verified so you can avoid any delays with your account approval once your payner account is created congratulations you can sign in and then come to your dashboard and this is how your dashboard looks like at the outset you can see your customer id and then the balances uh, section when you start earning you can see the account balances displayed here currently it's all showing zero for me because all the uh, amount that we receive immediately gets transferred uh, into the local bank account maybe in uh, one or two or three days uh, to the local bank account after we integrate that with payoneer and uh, in case you don't uh, see any of uh, this detail like at the top this menu bar here under the receive global payment service uh, then it, it means that your account is still under verification and there could be some notice sent to you maybe under this or here go to settings and click on verification center which is where you will see some details uh, uh, showing up in your account that is pending to be verified sometimes the uh, document if not uh, uploaded properly they'll let us know here that uh, there is a requirement for us to upload or share more details to get this account verified and which will all show up here in verification center and uh, once done your account will be cleared and it will say no open requirements so let me go back to home and uh, now let's move on to the faq section which is most awaited i guess where uh, we will see a lot of questions being answered that i've come across from my previous videos where people have asked when uh, activating their payoneer account or integrating that with the kdp uh, account so the first question is it mandatory to have payoneer account in kdp no it's not mandatory uh, as long as you want to earn royalties from different parts of the world where Amazon operates, Payoneer offers a virtual bank account that we can create and add to that Amazon marketplace. So for example, being in India, if I earn a royalty from UK, for example, and in Euros, I got somebody buying my book in Euro, paying in Euro. How do I get that converted into local Indian rupees? That's where Payoneer helps by... Um, taking that euro converting that into indian rupees and then depositing into my local icc bank account that's where i make use of payoneer so payoneer is not mandatory unless you want your international royalties to be credited to your local bank account second can i publish uh, my books and then activate my uh, payment section the bank information in amazon kdp now this is specifically to amazon kdp not with payoneer but the answer here is I would suggest get your account totally set straight first before you publish books because uh, what if you started to uh, generate sales immediately moreover I'm I'm pretty sure that Amazon will not let you publish books before your bank account is set straight because if even if it does then you want that royalties to get into your bank account as soon as you want right so please get your bank and uh, payment information set correctly into your KDP account before publishing your books the next question is about adding more bank accounts in your Amazon KDP account. The question is, I updated only an Indian bank account in Amazon uh, KDP, but now I have to add another Payoneer account in uh, into this KDP account. So what's the procedure for that? It's simple. Once you get into your Amazon KDP, you can see that I already added these accounts for Euro, INR and USD, which takes care of all the marketplaces. Uh, so if you want to add, like if you just added Indian and then you wanted to add one for USD, just click on add another bank account and choose the country that you want to add for and then add the details that you have from Payoneer. That's how you can add another bank account. The next question is about like, uh, is it mandatory to give Payoneer IEC code during account setup process? So first of all, this IEC code is the import export code that Payoneer asks if you have one. But here's a response from the Payoneer staff. Uh, so if you do not have an import export code you do not need to fill this requirement it should only be filled if you are registered for this particular code so if you don't have that code you can disregard that in the verification center as it does not affect your account 
The next question is about having a single letter last name. So what if you have a single alphabet as your last name? More often than not, this could be expanded to your father's name or family name or any surname. So if you can do that, please do that because the last name field in the Payoneer sign up form is not going to stop with just one alphabet. It's going to throw an error. So you want to expand your last name to complete it. But you might say that this is not matching with your government issued photo ID. Uh, as per this response from Payoneer support, I think it's not going to be a problem because you can inform this particular specific detail to the customer support team and then they'll take care to sort it out for you. The other issue could be that your full name could be longer than the allowed limit, which I believe is 26 characters as per this response here. So the recommendation is to use abbreviations for your middle names. I'm going to give all of these links in the description below so you can go ahead and check it out uh, and read it for yourself. Uh, but this is how you can surpass these uh, limitations and bottlenecks at the time of signing up. The next question is about uh, date of birth. For applying for a new Payoneer account, you must be 18 years old or above and uh, use your date of birth uh, as listed on your government issued ID. If you're using a PAN card, make sure your date of birth is matching that uh, supporting document. That's very important. If it's not going to match, then it's again going to cause issues in your approval process. The next question is about what exact purpose code we want to select in pay at the time of signing up. First, remember that you can change this purpose code even later after your account gets approved. So it's not a uh, uh, hard and fast rule to choose something right away. But purpose code depends on the kind of work you do primarily to get paid through Payoneer. So for example, if your primary purpose to earn online is to publish books, you can choose this code. And if you're in teaching services, you can choose this education services code. Or if nothing suits well, then you can choose other business services. The purpose code can be changed anytime through settings, profile settings page. I'm also going to include a list of purpose codes from RBI website that you can check it out here. The link is given in the description below. The next question is about how long does Payoneer take time to verify your account? So approval of accounts can take up to a week as sometimes more information is needed and uh, the actual uh, supporting documents are also getting verified. So it takes a bit. Sometimes it might take a little longer if there is any discrepancy or uh, mismatch errors in your supporting documents and the details entered at the time of signing up. And specifically for an ID card verification, it takes one to three business days for the review process to complete. And once verified, the approval team will email you saying that the uh, ID card is verified or if there's any other further questions needed. You can also check that from the verification section of your uh, Payoneer account. The next question is again about KDP. So will you receive funds from 12 marketplaces even though you have just added two bank accounts? Yes, it's possible. Uh, here in case of uh, India account uh, where I have added my ICC account, uh, earlier, I was able to add India uh, ICC bank account for both Amazon.in and Amazon.com for US dollars. Later, I picked up this uh, Payoneer virtual account for USD and then added that separately here. But then earlier, I just added my ICC account for India as well as US. And then all the remaining accounts for 11 marketplaces, I used Euro from Payoneer. So that way, we got all the 13 marketplaces connected. The next question is about whether should we choose a checking account or savings account. So in this case, here's what you do. So for USD, you can choose a checking account and for India, choose a savings account and for Euro, you can choose whatever you want. So this is the guidance for which account to choose checking or savings. The next question is how can I add PayPal to KDP bank information? Uh, we cannot because KDP doesn't speak with PayPal. So they don't, they both don't talk to each other. We cannot integrate PayPal into KDP. Next, does the bank account in Amazon KDP and Payoneer account to be the same or can it be two different accounts? Uh, it doesn't actually matter. It can be two different accounts or it can be two same accounts because uh, as long as you're adding your local bank account within KDP and an, another local bank account within your Payoneer, it can be same or different uh, as long as these are both verified bank accounts. Because uh, when you earn royalties uh, into Amazon KDP, Amazon does its job of directly depositing that amount into your bank account associated within your KDP. And similarly, when you use Payoneer account as your virtual bank account, that gets added to Payoneer and then Payoneer then deposits directly into your bank account that you associated within your Payoneer account. So these are two different things happening here and uh, doesn't really matter uh, for you to have whether to consider to 
include both the same or different accounts it actually doesn't matter it, uh, as long as you just add your verified bank accounts within kdp and your payoneer account it can be same or different the next question is uh, that you saw that some people bought your uh, books but that money the royalty amount is not yet reflecting in your account so what to do uh, first know that kdp sales uh, will take time to reflect it takes 60 days time to reflect into your uh, uh, bank account so it takes time for that payment to happen it might reflect into your kdp account but then in your dashboard but then it will take time for that to deposit into for to be deposited into your bank account so and uh, if you're again using pay in your then again it takes a couple more days or maybe five days to for that to process and then come into your local bank account so that's why you will see the royalties earned in your dashboard but it takes a while for that to be credited into your local bank account the next question is whether is pay in your free and uh, what fees are applicable you can check all your associated fees from your pay in your account dashboard here by going to help menu and click on pricing and fees where you can see all the associated fees with your account within your account but if you don't yet have your pay in your account created i provided all the related links in the description below so you can verify the details of of the all the fees associated with pay in your account it could be for your bank transfer fees or it could be for currency conversion it could be for requesting a payment so you can check all that in the detail given below one thing to remember is that there is an account fee of $29.95 which is a fee that's charged if you have not had any uh, uh, w transaction at least one transaction in your payoneer account uh, for the previous 12 months the next question is usd uh, us dollar and great britain pound in currencies are displayed in your payoneer account but euro is not showing for this um, earlier it was uh, having wire card uh, connection but then it was uh, stopped and then now we have citibank as the euro card uh, euro option so you have to request for a city card euro account and once that is done then you will start seeing euro added into your global uh, the receiving accounts section so that's how you can get your euro account added all right so that brings us to the end of this video so those were some of the questions that I got on my videos. If you have more questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. I'll do my best in answering. And um, that's it. Thanks for watching.